Over the past year, officials with South Whidbey Fire and Emergency had to take a hard look under the hood of their department. What they saw needs repair, like this 28-year-old rig that's leaking oil from its main seal. What goes through my mind is the critical importance of us being able to reliably arrive on scene of calls and also for our firefighters to be able to arrive safely on the scene of those calls. Staffing is so low here, they only have four full-time firefighters on duty at any time. Today, two of them had to bring a patient to the mainland, leaving the department alarmingly understaffed. So if we were to get a rescue call right now and we needed to get in and search inside of the building to find a victim, we would not be able to do that. A shortage of volunteers means the department needs to add two full-time firefighters. Five aging engines and water tenders also need to be replaced. It all adds up to delays in response times from about 10 minutes to 15. Fires are doubling in size every minute or two, and so if we can get water on the fire five minutes faster, it can really make all the difference in the world. South Woodby Fire is asking voters to increase their property taxes by 50%, from 81 cents to $1.20 for every $1,000 of a home's value. For a $635,000 house, that's an additional $20 per month. A tough request in a county with a median age around 60, a poverty level around 70 percent and prices for everything already very high. You've got a lot of people on this island who live on a fixed income retirees. How do you sell this sort of thing to them? It's an ask for sure, but hopefully it's not too big of an ask for everybody pitching in to provide an essential community service. The fate of the fire department's future rests with voters. It's expected to be on the ballot this August. On South Whidbey Island, Eric Wilkinson, King 5 News.